Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Kim and today's class will be yin yoga for your hips, hamstrings and lower back. So let's right begin in a wide leg child's pose, bringing your big toes together, letting the knees fall apart and walk your hands forward so that your forehead can rest on the ground. Take deep belly breaths in and out through the nose. If your forehead doesn't quite make it to the ground, you can always place a block or a pillow underneath it. The tendency here is to allow the shoulders to rise up to the ears. So see if you can keep them pressing down. This is a wonderful pose to help relieve any discomfort in the lower back and in the areas of the hips. So in yin yoga we hold the poses for a few minutes. Just remember that you can come out of them any time that you need to.
Start to lift your body back up by pressing your palms into the ground, lifting the chin, lifting the chest into your tabletop pose. You can take a few hip circles here if you want to as a counter pose. So if you have a blanket nearby, you can place it underneath the knees for a little bit of padding and maybe grab a hold of your blocks moving into our low lunge as an next pose. Step your right foot forward in between the palms, keeping your feet about hip width distance apart, placing the blocks underneath the hands if you need to or want to. Here we're focusing mostly on the stretch and the opening at the front of the thigh, deep into the quads and right into the hips. Imagine melting and pressing the hips down towards the floor until you reach your personal edge. Breathe into that sensation of the pose. One more minute to go. Let's gently come out of this pose now. Step your right foot back and sit on your heels for a few breaths. Noticing what has changed. Maybe your right side feels different from the left. Maybe not. If you want to, you can take a few rest rolls. And then let's step the left foot forward to the top of the mat and again you can grab your blocks and pad your right knee if needed. 
low lunge on the second side. We're here for about five minutes. So relax your shoulders down away from the ears. You're melting your hips down to the floor. Breathe through the intensity of the sensation. Imagine you can breathe directly into your hips and low back. Deep belly breaths. You can ease out of the pose, stepping your foot back, take your time, slowly removing the blocks and once again sitting on your heels, taking a moment to notice any changes in the body, your breath or even your state of mind. can move your blanket to the side we won't be needing it anymore extend your legs straight out in front of you keep the right leg straight and bend your left knee cross your left foot over that right thigh and keep crossing it over until you can stack your left knee directly on top of the right one if your left knee stays more uplifted that's fine too you can always place a block or a blanket in between. And then from here, hinge forward at the waist and start to fold down. It really doesn't take much to start to get that really deep stretch into the hamstrings. And because this is in practice, let yourself soften and relax. And then what I always like to do is use a block under my forehead. We want to relax the arms, the neck, shoulders, 
Just let gravity do the work. Breathing deeply, our last minute in the pose. So waking up the arms a little bit more, start to press the palms into the floor, really slowly making your way back up, being mindful of your lower back and hips as you do this. Uncross the legs, remove your props and before we do the other side, let's bring our feet flat to the ground, hands behind you and just let your knees drop from side to side like a windshield motion. This time we have to bring our left leg forward, the right knee bends, crossing it over the left thigh and stacking the knees. So if it doesn't make it all the way there, again, putting a block in between can help to close the gap. And then easing your way down, using a block under your forehead if it feels right for you. Really take your time to get settled in the pose. We will be here for a few minutes. Always remember, no tensing up the shoulders.
Slowly engaging the arms, let's come out of this side. Take your time. And just like we did before, feet will go flat to the ground, let the knees drop side to side. Very slow windshield wiper movements to decompress your lower back and get all the kinks out of the way. So let's make our way down onto the back, slowly lowering down. And let's pull both knees in towards the chest, gently rocking from side to side, massaging the lower back. And you can stay in this first variation. Or you're welcome to come into happy baby by stacking your ankles over your knees and grabbing either onto your big toes with your two piece fingers or just to the outside of the feet placing your elbows to the inside of your knees always try to keep your tailbone down onto the mat as you do this head and shoulders are still relaxed and if this pose just doesn't work for you, just come back into the original pose, hugging your knees to your chest. You'll get the same benefits. Taking the last, a few really deep belly breaths here. Really feel your belly expand like a balloon. Ribs spreading from side to side and front to back. Deep, full breaths all the way to your hips or wherever you feel the strongest sensation in the pose. Thank you. 
slowly now start to release your legs back down to the ground. We're coming into Shavasana now. So I recommend placing a bolster underneath the knees and the pillow or a blanket under the head. Really setting this up to be as comfortable as possible so you can fully and deeply relax and let go. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears, palms facing up. Allow the gaze to be soft. And as you breathe, just notice what's different now as opposed to when you first stepped onto your mat. So you may notice that your body feels different. Maybe it's the quality of your breath quality of your focus. And if you're able to note a positive change, focus in on it.
start to breathe a little bit deeper now as you slowly wake back up. Gently wiggling fingers and toes, maybe reach your arms up overhead, taking a great big stretch. You can keep your eyes closed as you roll over to one side. Take your time here, no rush. And we will lift up to take a seat, sitting up nice and tall. And let's bring our palms together in front of the heart. Bowing forward, Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me and please remember to subscribe to my channel. I put out new classes every single week. Have a nice day and practice again with you soon.